fine day indeed. I figured while I'm here, I'll go to the shrine on the way to the, the warehouse. That's good. Yes, still shaking off a bit of that sore throat, but um, yeah, you know, <laughs> Friday night got a bit too wild. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, wow, see that fire station over there? That would have some particular significance. Look at this. There we go. Real deal. Toby Gucci. It's either Edo or Meiji, something like that. Yes. All right, let's go and uh, have a bit of a perusal, shall we? I've got something really cool down there. Oh, what a gorgeous day, huh? Hey, trying to bang on about winter time. No, it's not. Yeah, I might even go for a walk in there a bit later. Yes. Show you around a bit. Well, things are starting to look up a bit, you know, just a bit, just a smidgen. Actually, um, I'm doing this training stuff for uh, a bit of teaching the master language, Zig English. And uh, yesterday, uh, I was with a group of teachers and we're teaching these little tikers. It was fantastic, a lot of fun. Yes, I'm doing silly things, you know. <laughs> um, that was alright. Uh, kind of reminded me of when I was hanging out with my kid when she was small and, you know, make her laugh all the time. And It's great. They've got a really good structure, um, a curriculum. I can, see a, I can see a hawk over there. Another hawk, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the structure and these, this curriculum, of this, they follow this system of a particular brand of books and uh, I'm fairly familiar with them and so yeah some of these kids I had them laughing and you know they're having a good time I'm having a good time and it's all right um, and as I say uh, I've mentioned to people before uh, some of the boys out there you know they like to comment and it's great you know comment would you please um, yeah you know that helps with the the ever uh, pressing bills you know like that so oh, let's go and have a look at this um this uh yeah it takes a lot of the stress off you know uh which is good and i'm um, i enjoyed it yeah it's really fun and the, at this other establishment um yeah this uh this chap was um an american fellow um was showing me the ropes and <laughs> these little tigers and they're putting things on my head and slapping me in you know <laughs> he's like you all right i'm like yeah yeah it's fun uh you know i used to encourage my kid to punch and kick me and stuff because in my culture you're supposed to like fear your parents you know well, at least the, the fatherly figure you're supposed to fear them and uh i wouldn't have that for my kid you know i wouldn't allow my kid to ever fear me you just punch me and kick me inside you know? and so yeah that's that's where i stood with all of that all right so um yeah that was the other establishment far away but um yeah it was a lot of fun um so i'm keen to do that some more um yes right let's have a look at this awesome piece of awesome unit right here now this is going to be Pardon my French, but an absolute bastard to pack. <laughs> um, you can get yourself some iron hook things for that. I don't have the rings for this one. Uh, but she's a beauty. I'm going to have to figure out a way to pack it because of size restrictions and stuff like that. will be sea freighted, obviously, due to um, the weight and all that. And, and uh, yeah, you know, things, a lot of ships are still in port, but they are getting through. You just got to give your government a right good foot up the ass, right? Yeah, that's what they need. Oh, we'll just boot them out and get people that can really manage things, you know? God, the incompetence. Anyways, well, um, so yeah, you know, eventually you'll get stuff. <laughs> Not get stuff, <laughs> get stuff. Yeah, so there you go. So this, this one here, um, it's a beautiful piece here. That's um, brass, isn't it? And that's got a beautiful twirly whirly right there. Yes. We can even, even straighten that up a bit. Hang on. Twirly whirly. <laughs> right. I had to be on my best behavior and not swear, <laughs> you know, <laughs> of recent times. Oh, God. I'm going to have to practice that again. 
Uh, all right, there you go. Now, um, yeah, so a lovely little twirly whirly right there. And, yeah, let me straighten that up a bit better. A little two cool hands. That's all you do. All right, we have a working twirly whirly. Yeah, that's the technical term. Now, um, this thing here, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of surface rust. Same deal, the tenons in T. That's some kind of uh, natural acids or something like that. When you boil the tea, it cleans up the pot. Yes. And this particular style, uh, if it starts to boil over a bit too much, you can just give it a bit of that and you'll get a bit of air flow in there. Um, yeah, the pot itself. She's a beauty, all right. And you get your tripod thing there. Quite, that's that's been used a lot. So they would have had um, sumi, uh, smokeless charcoal in there, and um, and uh, going to work, boiling tea for a long span. So that's a beauty. I'm going to have to get the um, weights and measures. I won't pick that up because I'll get a bit rusty. Um, I'll have to uh, get the weights and measures and all that stuff a bit later i'm heading towards the, the warehouse now all right so let's have a look at this real deal toby gucci now you can tell it's a real deal because that's pressed steel there and these days if they make a replica you'll find welds uh welds here generally and also you'll find that these pieces here uh, like turned up stuff like that this is the real deal you've got your metal pieces running through it yeah and that at one stage would have had a hook type of thing you can hook it they hook it on their belt or that was sometimes to stop a blade yeah they used to have you see um these were um like firefighter equipment that we use to pull down pieces on the outskirts of a house or to drag away tatami mats and stuff like that and uh, over time uh, due to the process of war uh, which the Japanese oh, what was it one time was like a hundred year war or something like that yeah they don't mess around um, you find that you find that um, they would pick up any implement for to have a bit of a punchy poos. Now, um, oh, there's someone's name on here. Um, so what what happened was these reuse were developed, which are training schools uh, specifically for the Tobaguchi, and um, they became not only a tool but also a weapon legally allowed to be carried by those that weren't of the samurai class how's that hey oh god this is nice isn't it how about i just picnic here oh god i love to get my kx out here and just go ronnie mack on around here that'd be rad well i'm gonna sell this pretty cheap because um well, it's a real deal, right? Edo or Meiji, so it's like either 1603 to 1868, 1868 to 1912, somewhere around that era. And due to, let me just click this somewhere. Yeah, pop that there. Um, due to the, uh, you know, because of the zombie apocalypse, right? Um, we still have this, or well, at least we've got EMS. Sorry, Can Canucks, uh, you still. Rode the best steel, boys. Um, yeah, things are still nonsense there. Can't send anything to the Canucks. Um, but many a land has uh, EMS air. It's just backed up, backlogs taking time, but they're getting there. And as you see here, they've still got these uh, tentative extra charges. But considering that this doesn't weigh too much, oh, eBay uh, takes 10%, Etsy takes... Uh, what percentage of freight do they take? Um, but anyways, they've got these extra charges and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, maybe I need a better filing system than this. 
Um, but you know, at least things are getting through to most countries. Canucks are going to read the best deal, boys. Um, so there you go. Um, yeah, that, that idiot people government there have messed with my life because some Canucks were well keen to purchase some of my stuff. Maybe I should swim over there and start bashing some people and helping them to understand they need to get up. Ow. Oh, what is that over there? That looks like I think that's a stork. <coughs> we won't scare him. There you go. Oh, he's a big one too. Not sure if you can see that. Don't know if you can see that through this camera lens. He's a beauty. Oh my. I said I saw one just the other day too. Oh, isn't this a nice day, huh? Yeah, I'm feeling quite good about um, this teaching stuff. I'm well keen to even pick up some more. Um, it's few and far between these days because a, a lot of foreigners actually got stuck here uh, due to the zombie apocalypse. We need to like throw those you know, people in the government. Anyways, um, what they, think they, they think they own us like we're slaves or something. Um, anyways, yeah, so, you know, the, uh, the wage salary is a far lower than what it used to be but you know I'm like I kind of need a bit of structure in my life I kind of need to do something it's sort of in a way I mentioned this to someone to sort of give back a little bit to butterfly um, you know because I read a lot over the years I'm no I'm no scholar I never went to some fancy pants school but I did read a lot and some of the beauty and the art of the language of English, you know, some stuff you read may put you to tears, you know. Anyways, in the beauty of it. Anyways, I figure, yeah, you know, I've got something to give, you know what I mean? And uh, and in return, be able to pay my rent and, and put food in my guts. <laughs> I just bought some chicken and some stuff. Um, and so... Yeah, you know, and having some formulation of a structure, I think, is kind of I'm in need of that. Two butterflies over there, hey, eh? they're having a good time and chasing each other around. Wonder what they're gonna do tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Bomb bomb do 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 god I've gone crazy. Um well apparently it's gonna be 18 degrees today, so that's good. And yeah. So, Toby Gucci, um, you could uh, have yourself one of these. I would um, take out a couple of these, of these wedges here, and uh, or maybe bash them in a bit more. That's not as tight as it looks like. Could be, you can knock those in a bit or whatever, or maybe get a pin punch and knock that one in even further yeah that's what I would do and there you go but personally I think you shouldn't run around and use this um, on bad people oh, very diverse deal boys um, yeah you know I reckon that piece right there this piece right here uh, will go well in see there's, there's none of this is scripted man. <laughs> it will go very well in a uh, in someone's Collection. Yes. The great to throw around too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> real, real. Some crazy guy jeans out there. Crazy guy jeans out there with a the Toby Gucci right near a fire stage. <laughs> yes. So yeah, that's what they were uh, originally designed for uh, for firefighters. How's that, eh? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to head to the warehouse, got something to pack, and uh, I'll get the weights and measures for this, and then I'll have to figure out something to do today. <laughs> How's that? Alright, be good. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. Well, I was just doing a few weights and measures. I can hear Crowy up on the roof. Um, I don't think he'd want to eat this. Yeah, it's, it's some kind of... I don't know what you call these things. 
delicious. It's um, some kind of, um, what, it's the food channel now? Yeah, Hungry Fat Chick, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's healthy. Uh, we better put that over there. Um, yeah, some kind of like lettucey kind of stuff. I'm gonna go with my tooken a bit later. Now, um, uh, let's see, the, the base piece here is uh, like 330 mil in diameter. <coughs> and, um, oh God, I've still got that. <coughs> Still shaking that off from when I <laughs> just out wearing a t-shirt in the cold on Friday night. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> Mate's like, oh, you know, why didn't you wear a jacket like this? And I was like, because that don't look cool. You know, what would you rather? Be cool, look cool, or, you know, um, be and cold, or way uncool. Oh, who cares? Anyways, and it's about um, height-wise, we're looking right to the tip, uh, about 312 millimeters heavy it is uh, i'm gonna have to get a, a larger box than that and separate them and and figure something out i've got some stuff over there i can figure something out with that uh that toby gucci which i've placed over there uh what was that again uh, do, 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 do. let's see now i've got my notes here um that's like 460 mil in length so I'll, uh, I'll sort that out and it shan't be too much at least via air freight because of being light all right even though they have those tentative extra charges okay so I'll sort that out and uh, I'm gonna pack that thing that's off to Denmark I get a chance to do that now all right let's get back onto this chuck that in the rig right now so, um, yes Anyone know what these things are called again? <laughs> They're really great and crazy cheap. There we go. Rocking the rig. Right behind. 